some of my build-ups for tourneys of um, I've fasted before games. I've been in Dubai and, you know, and 40 degrees and humidity is you know, unbearable and I've managed to go you know, throughout you know, a couple of days without eating. And the boys you know, may ask, you know, and I'll just play it cool saying, I'm not hungry, you need, I don't want to make a big deal out of it. Um, it's between obviously you know, me and God and, and things like that. Um, typically though in, in our team now, we've established a, a culture where the boys are sort of let, let free, you know, to, to just do their own thing. We have um, um, Bible meetings um, pretty much every night, uh, where the boys are, you know, free to come and, and join them, and where we just pretty much just give thanks and, and, and praise to God. And um, you know, if there's any prayer requests or any healing for injuries that the boys are taking, you know, it's a good opportunity to do that. Um, but on uh, the Friday night, usually before our, the two-day tournament, um, we'll go into Titch's room and he'll have his rundown. We have a jersey presentation and. Um, Titch in the last couple of years is the one that initiates the, you know, okay, we'll get up now and we'll pray you know, for the tournament. So he's definitely come a long way and I, I think slowly we've broken into him. But it's just awesome to see all the, you know, all the 12 boys plus management get up and we all, you know, bow our heads and, and just give thanks for the tournament coming up. And we thank God for the victories ahead and, and for the losses. And, um, you know, I, I think it just sets up for a, you know, for a, for a good weekend and then obviously. We all wake up in the morning and, you know, we do our own thing for me. Um, you know, I, I like to go through my scriptures. I usually have them on my phone and I go through all the promises that, you know, God's, God's made and all the promises in God's word and, and just really hope on those, those scriptures. I usually write one down on my wrist along with um, um, the sign of the cross and my son's name. I think just some, um, I guess, some kind of reference when, when the going gets tough so that you, know, you can look to your arm and, and rely on those things. And, um, you know, f for us when we're in the shed, you know, um, there's a lot of hype. You know, obviously different players build up in you know, different ways. So you got guys on their um, iPods, you know, listen to their music. Some guys in the corner just chilling out. Um, some guys walking back and forth up in the change room and that. But um, it's good to hear now that you know what we've established is um, everyone gets time. We go out and we warm up in our, in our training tees, but when we come back on. All the jerseys are placed out, and um, the boys usually have their own time. Where a lot of us, you know, pray over our jerseys individually, bless our own jerseys before we put it on. Um, Tits says his bit, and then um, you know we get up and we, and we, we say a prayer. And, um, the prayer pretty much opens up us, you know, for that for that one game. Um, and amongst all that, you know, while we're praying, uh, while people are talking, then we turn on our worship music. And um, the song Hallelujah is the worship song that's been playing for the last two or three years now. And uh, that's brought us a, a lot of victories. And um, it probably just symbolizes you know, what the team is about. I mean, um, not many people would think you know, that uh, worship music would really get you up, especially the song you know, Hallelujah. It's quite, quite, a, quite, a, um, quite a soft, um, quite a deep and meaningful um, song. And you, you wouldn't think typically that it would get a team up for battle. Um, but it does for us, and um, I guess I appreciate that um, even the so-called non-believers or people you know um, who are not familiar with God, or you know, they're all happy to, to hear that. No one's um, trying to stop the music or, or turn it off. And, and teachers even, you know, whenever the music is late to be put on or a bit quiet, you know, our coach is saying turn it up, you know, put the music on. So for us running out, you know, onto the field, the last thing we hear is um, a worship song, you know, Hallelujah. And, um, I guess it symbolizes, you know, that's what our faith is in, that's who we put our trust in. And, um, you know, I'm sure many of you have seen us after a win, after a loss, we still bow our heads, you know, and amongst all the hype, we could, you know, run around and, you know, jump on the goalpost and go and meet our fans and things like that, but we all take our knee and give thanks. I think after the Com Games, we won that one, we even sung a worship song on the field. Um, so it's just little things like that that are slowly breaking into our lives, like the team's lives, but also, you know, the viewers. Um, the people that who are watching.